Hey guys! Hey, I'm going to give a few minutes for everybody to get on. Um, I wanted to go ahead and go over some things today because I've had a lot of people asking me about what this hack thing is. So I thought I'd just get on and um, tell you guys how much fun. Hey, Tammy. I'm going to tell you guys how much um, fun I'm having just doing all of this hacking that I keep talking about on Facebook. Um, what hacking is, is just highlight and contour. And um, it's something that I have learned really helps to define um, your facial features. So basically what God has already given you, we're just bringing out a little bit. So um, go ahead and, and share this if you want to. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm super excited because my hack that I put on this morning has lasted all day. So the thing is, I'm having to use our uh, makeup remover wipes to take off what I put on this morning because everything lasted so well. But I wanted to show you guys um, what hacking is without having to pile extra stuff on there. So just don't mind me while I talk to you while I take my makeup off. But um, so the deal with ha hacking from mascara is um, Kara, who is the developer of it, Look how red my face gets when I take my makeup off. Um, she's the developer of it, and she was a she's a makeup artist, and she um, just got tired of doing everybody's makeup, especially like real moms and real women, you know, that were out living their life. And she just got tired of doing everybody's makeup, knowing that they couldn't really do it on their own whenever they got home, unless they bought five thousand different things to. Um, to do their highlight and contour. So what she did is she developed her own line and um, sold it kind of retail and um, online for a while. Hey Kim, hey Miss Connie. So, um, hey Johnny Lynn. So um, she developed her own line of what she calls her 3D foundation. And what that is, is basically um, your highlight, your contour, and then your blush and illuminator. And the great thing that I love about it is all in one, one piece. This is my personal one. That's why it looks so used because y'all, it really is used. I use it every day. But um, so you got your highlight, contour, blush, and illuminator. It's all one layer that you put on your face. You don't put one layer of one color foundation on, which just flattens your face. And then you have to go in and add dimension by adding more products to it. What I'm going to show you today is how to use your, um, your highlight and contour to do one layer on your face so that you don't have to like smother your face with everything. Um, that for me is really key. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I told you guys it was going to be a quick routine. When I do this in the morning, I don't talk to a camera so I can do it really fast. But I'm going to get started with my contour today. I'm using the contour that she calls Ash. It is super, super um, versatile for different people. Let me get a hair clip real quick. Now that I've gotten my hair longer, it just, I'm having to get used to having it in the way a lot. So what I like to do is, a lot of people will tell you to do a fish face, about that, and put it there in the hollows of your cheeks. Um, and that's all well and good. It does add dimension, but if you want to lift your cheeks a little bit, you'll find your cheekbones and put it right under like the bottom half of your cheekbones. I'm going to use my mirror up top. So that looks pretty dark, right? Wait till just a minute. You're going to think I look like a clown. Hey, Stephanie. How you doing? I see my friend Selena Anderson tuned in in my sissy cam. So I've got my little line going on here. They call it the contour is like um, spanks for your face. And I total, totally believe it because this little white face um, in a minute is going to look a lot less um, flat and uh, well, it'll still be round, but it just won't look as round. So the reason I got started doing this, I was trying to do it on my own. I was one of those people that tried to do it with like five or six different products. Um, and I probably drive my husband crazy buying stuff all the time to add my um, contour and my highlight and all that because I have um, I've lost about right at 30 pounds. And when you're a big girl like me, you lose 30 pounds, people don't really know it. I got tired of people not knowing that I had done something. So I was like, well, daggone it, I'm going to make sure my face looks like I lost some weight. So, um... I started highlighting and contouring, spending way too much money, honestly, 
to make sure I got that look. And then my best friend introduced me to this. What I'm doing now is kind of buffing it out just because I'm used to blending it like at every stage. I'm gonna to go to my highlight now and do like a pie shape under my eyes. Sorry you guys, I'm not looking at the camera much because it kind of confuses me whenever I do my makeup in the camera. I kind of like doing my makeup in the mirror. But hey, if you want to test your um, coordination, I totally recommend doing your makeup in the camera. We'll see how coordinated you are. So basically your highlight goes in your T-zone and wherever you did not put your contour. So anyway, my, my friend introduced me to mascara and the hack life, and I just totally fell in love. I mean, it's super easy once you get the hang of it. They, um, once you purchase everything that you need, your 3D foundation, they send you a color chart. Hey, Donna, love you, girl. They send you a color chart, so it's kind of like what we call paint by numbers. As long as you can follow that chart, you can do it. One thing I like to do, too, you see how I got a little redness in my neck? This stuff covers it really well. And it's not so heavy that I have to worry about feeling like I'm getting it on my clothes or anything like that. Especially once I set it. I know it's weird that some people don't like putting makeup on their neck, but I'm not perfect, so I do. So now I look kind of crazy, right? I got all these lines on my face. And I'm going to take my Wet Beauty Blender, which we call the Perfector because it really is that good. It is super soft. I've never had one that is this soft. And what I'm going to do is start blending away. I'm an oily, oily face girl. And when I first started using this, I was very, very um, shy about using it wet. Just because I, you know, I just don't want a lot of shine. And I know a lot of Southern girls that are um, oily probably feel the same way. Hey, Miss Lee. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Shonda. But I started using it wet, and y'all, seriously, it is the best thing ever because when it's hot and you have this wet uh, perfector on your face, it feels awesome. And not only that, but it does a great job blending, as you could tell, but it also takes off any excess product because one thing when I was trying to do all this myself, um, I just kind of got resigned to the fact that my face was going to feel heavier and heavier the more product I got on it. And I just felt like, well, I guess I'm at that age, you know, where I'm going to have to start putting a bunch of product on my face to look the way I want to. But the thing is, I don't. And I didn't realize that until I started using mascara. So, look at this. I've got my highlight and contouring done. I'm going to go in and buff just a little more. I will say sometimes some people like to use their... Um, contour on the side of their nose just to add a little bit more dimension kind of make it look a little slimmer and sometimes what I do is I'll go in after I blend everything and if I feel like I may have blended too much away I'll just add a little more contour where I need it so I've got that done I'm going to go real quick to my blush this is called desert sunset and all I do is I tap it and honestly with all of these colors I've just been tapping the tin because you don't need a lot to do what you need to do. So this goes in the very apple of your cheeks. This desert sunset has turned out to be one of my favorites because it's all of our um, cheek colors will will double as a lip color, and this one is a little glossier, and I just like the feel of it on my cheeks or on my lips for sure. But I like the look of it on my face. See, it's real natural. I don't have to worry about looking like a clown anymore. That was three or four minutes ago I was looking like a clown. This is not a clown, thankfully. So I've got all that blended in. Now normally at this point um, in the morning time I actually set with a powder and today I'm going to use our vanilla dust setting powder or tonight I should say. And use our power powder brush and she she designed this so see how it's got that crazy slanted end she designed this so you could press it right where you need it you don't have to have a whole full face full of powder in this humidity sometimes I do like a little more powder so I might 
I sometimes use um, a loose powder just because that's what I'm used to. But I really feel like this um, vanilla dust sets it really well. So especially like on Saturdays when I'm not as worried about who I'm going to run into or I just want to look a little more natural, I'll put just a little bit of this vanilla dust on and um, it helps me to get out about my day. So this is my face so far. The only thing I'm going to add is that fourth step in your hack pack that I told you about. Hey, Nikki. Hey, sweet girl. Um, this is our illuminator, and this just adds a little bit of dewiness to your skin. And as you get older, um, you know, you lose that a little bit. But it kind of helps because we put it on your cheekbones here. And it brings out your cheekbones. A lot of people also choose to put it on their brow bone, right underneath here. That's why they call it the illuminator. It just illuminates whatever. And just as a little tip, they'll put, sometimes they put it right here. This is like the darkest part of your face here, so you put a little bit right there just to brighten it up. I've seen people put it straight down their nose here, and then right here in their cupid's bow. So that's my hack I've put on. The only thing left now is to put a little bit of my Desert Sunset on, which is my cheek and lip color. So that's, yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. I was um, privileged enough last week to, to do a contour class for a group of girls, and one of my friends um, texted me after she got her hack pack in, hey, Diane, hey, Leanne. Oh, thank you, Becky. I love you, girl. You're gorgeous, too. We're going to have Kissy a party, I think, and, we, and uh, you can come out and see how gorgeous you look in the hack. But, um, so I did this contour class the other day, and this is what it's all about for me, is this girl, um, she's had a hard, hard year. Hey, sweet girl. Um, she's a single mom, and I can't go into a lot of detail about it, but this girl has had a hard, hard year. And she came to the class, and, um, you know, I, don't, I never pressure anybody to purchase because they know their situation better than I do. All I want to do is show people how they can feel better about themselves because that's where I come from, um, just from a lot of self-esteem stuff. So I want to show people, <laughs> I want to show people, I'm laughing at Becky, I love you, girl. So I want to show people how to feel better about themselves. And so what I wound up doing is I showed this whole class everything about highlighting and contouring. And what wound up happening is she purchased her hat kit and she, or hat pack and she got it in. The very night she got it in, she played with it and, and put it on her two daughters, and which I thought was great. Who knew you can help with um, mother-daughter bonding time there? But then she sent me a picture of the final product. And she's like, she says something about, um, I'm so glad that you showed me this for... She said, for the first time, I really feel beautiful again. And y'all, I'm telling you, my heart just, ah, uh, all the feels right then. And it was just, that was why I do this. So um, anyway, I said all that to say, this is how I do my hack. I hope that if you have any questions about it, I can um, help you out with that. Just give me a call. Um, I do just want to encourage you, where, no matter what foundation, what makeup you use, Find out what works for you and find your own beauty because that's what it's all about. God gave beauty for, to every single one of us women and there is no reason why we should hide it. We should absolutely um, enhance what he's given us in whatever way we feel that we need to because it winds up giving him glory. So um, anyway, just give me a call or send me a private message if you want to talk about anything, if you guys want to pray or anything. That's how I do my hack. So I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. See you later.